What up witches, grab a seat and a cup of coffee because we're transfiguring my coffee bar. This dresser I found on good old Facebook marketplace went from being craft storage to junk storage and now home to our snacks. Today, it's getting a facelift so my Nespresso and Keurig machine can sit pretty right on top. My military mommy friend Cooper is DIYing a coffee bar too from this amazing hutch she thrifted. You will have to check out her channel so you can see how she decorates it and marvel at her adorable mugs and baby too. I'll link her channel along with all her socials down below so give her some love. Ideally, I like to do full room transfigurations but sheltering in place during this COVID chaos makes that a bit difficult. So I've settled for something a bit smaller in the meantime. First things first, I gotta get these drawers emptied so I can paint them properly. Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high. Floating somewhere up in the clouds. Going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing, we're like wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, 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 nah, trip, trip, trip so I know you're probably wondering why we keep so much food in here rather than our own cabinets and pantry. And the reason is because my mom is type 2 diabetic, suffers from schizophrenia, and stage 4 chronic kidney disease. In our kitchen, I keep all the food and snacks that are CKD and diabetic friendly, but all of our unhealthy junk food in here. <laughs> If you're Filipino like me, you will recognize the staple of Vienna sausage, sardinas, and of course, corn beef. For those of you who have kids, these magnetic locks are amazing for baby proofing or in my case, mom proofing. You attach the lock on the inside of the drawer and use the magnet key to unlock it. I feel bad having these foods in the house that my mom can't have because she misses them but I also don't want to deprive Michael's parents of the snacks they love because they are healthy enough to enjoy them. It's one thing to have a cheat snack every here and there, but because of my mom's mentality, she will overindulge and feel really sick. So this is just my way of keeping her safe. down to business and paint this thing. If you haven't already noticed from my videos or pictures on Instagram, if you haven't followed me, you probably should. It's awesome, I promise. I love, love blue, especially darker blues like navy or jewel tones like teal. I guess that's just the Ravenclaw in me. Stuck on the ocean now, nothing but waves in this filling in. I wanna dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I wanna bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside. Once the base is dry, I moved it back over here, or Michael moved it back over here so that I can go ahead and start painting the drawers. better? I think so. I'm much more of a neutral kind of girl. That turquoise was just way too much for me. 
So yes, we do have a Keurig and an espresso machine. I bought the Keurig first for my mom and Michael gave me my Nespresso that I was wanting for so long during Christmas a couple years back. I only drink coffee from the Nespresso. The Keurig to me personally is just too watered down. I'll show you guys in a bit and make a cup from each of them so you can see. While Michael puts the hardware back onto the drawers, I'm just going to organize our hot chocolate and apple cider pods into this Keurig pod tree I got on Amazon. and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified for new videos every week. So the base of our bar looks good, but the wall is empty. So, Michael's going to move the wire shelf that was by the light switch to above our new coffee bar. Whenever Michael's working, I always find some way to bug him, like that he his butt. Also, Michael is obsessed with video games and lately it's been this thing called Apex, so this is just me imitating the boys when they're online. What's the thing you guys say? Broke shield! <laughs> <laughs> Before making any coffee, these machines are due for some cleaning. I washed all the water tanks and drip dishes in the sink, then dried them off. I only used mild dish soap and water because obviously you don't want to drink chemicals and become a mutant. Or do you? of the machines, I know there is probably a descaling solution you can get from Keurig or Nespresso, but I didn't have that on hand so I used vinegar, which works just as well. Look how gross this rinse is, yuck. When it's empty, do it again with water until it doesn't smell like vinegar anymore. The rinsing cycle does take forever, so I went ahead and organized all the coffee pods in these drawer organizers from Amazon. The bar is looking real good. So now let's go ahead and make a cup of coffee from each of these so you can see the difference. Nespresso is a lot creamier than Keurig in my experience, which is what I live for. Also, I only drink iced coffee and I love that my Nespresso isn't boiling my coffee to the point that my ice melts straight into water before I even get a sip. It comes out perfect every time. I can even drink it black, but I prefer it with some vanilla almond milk. Mm. 
Now with Keurig, you can see how hot it is. Look at that steam. If you're a hot coffee kind of person, you might like this, but also look at the stream coming out of the machine. It's so light, which means that the coffee is mixed with a lot of water. I do love the smell of Keurig coffee, that they have a variety of flavors, and I also enjoy that you can make other drinks besides coffee with it, but overall, I prefer Nespresso. No hate to Keurig lovers, but everyone has their own preference. Now that our coffee machines are all set, these drawers need some serious organization. my favorite drawer out of all of them, which you know about cosmic brownies. I just thought that my Filipino fam might enjoy how jam-packed this drawer is with sardinas. Now because this room is adjacent to my Harry Potter living room, I have to add a whispering touch to my coffee bar. I made this macrame Deathly Hallows wall hanger in a previous video, which I'll link for you to check out in case you're interested. put some of my favorite mugs on the shelf and some plain white mugs for guests to use. how this turned out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of this room. I was thinking of making it a reading nook during Christmas time since my bookshelf is currently where I like my tree to be, but we shall see. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out Cooper's channel. Tell me your coffee recipes in the comments below. Please subscribe and like and share this with someone you want to inspire. Bye guys, love you!